The reason I'm able to lay out here is because the ozone layer is blocking up to 97% of harmful UV rays. Without it, in just a few minutes, this could be me. <laughs> My skin hurts. What happens when the same molecules are created down here with us? Automobiles, planes, and even your lawnmower at home. All generate pollutants that react with sunlight to create ozone, affecting our air, our lungs, and even our plants. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why we monitor for ozone. Oh, sorry. That's why we monitor for ozone, the analyzers, like these. We've got circuit boards that control the instrument, a pump that draws air in, and a photometer where the magic happens. This is the important part. Air from the outside comes into this tube. This UV lamp shines light back down the tube to the detector, where it calculates the amount of ozone using an equation called Beer's Law. Not that Beer's Law. That Beer's Law. We calculate ozone by starting with the known amount of light. As we add more ozone into the tube, the more light is absorbed by the ozone, and the less light is detected, which gives us a number for how much ozone is in the air. So how can we prevent ozone? Simple things like... Keeping your engine tuned up. Keeping your tires properly inflated. Conserving energy in your home. And fun things like carpooling. Then everybody be surfing. Like California, yay! You can learn their baggies. Ride his sandals too. A bushy, bushy blonde hairdo. Surfing USA.